Okay ladies and gentlemen, something new for the channel now, something that hopefully we'll see me expand into going forward. Yes, we'll be taking a look at a Telltale game originally made in 2011 or released in 2011, Hector, and we negotiate with terrorists, episode 1, Badge of Carnage. Let's get stuck in. Hopefully we enjoy this. I'm looking forward to it anyway. Hopefully the audio's right. Hopefully everything's right. Let's get stuck in and see how we get on. Oh, oh. Hello. I do like a Telltale game. There's, there's no mistaking it. No mistaking it whatsoever. Let's see what happens here. Come on, come on, where are you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you had it coming. The man you want in a troubled situation. Oh, oh, for reasons that are now self-explanatory. Who was it this time? Whittingsworth? Boggins, sir. Blast! Well, not, not your figure of speech. Idiots! You're trying my patience! Let me speak to someone who can get things done! Step someone in the professional. And will treat me with respect! The next voice I hear had better be courteous and pleasant, or I'd kill every last one of you stinking coppers! That's a bit harsh. Sir, if you will, I would suggest Detective Inspector Hector. His people's skills are ideal to ensure this situation be settled amicably. Hector? The obnoxious, troublemaking alcoholic? I'm well. sure he'd consider it a pleasure, sir. I think he was Scottish with that description. Lambert! Oh, don't make me go out there, sir. I told Philomena I'd make it home by six tonight, alive. <laughs> we need Hector. Where is he? Oh, right, sir. Getting uh, laid. He's, um, well, he's likely off solving one of the many violent and atrocious murders Clappers Rick is so famous for. Well, he's your partner. Find him and bring him down here to deal with this shambles swiftly. Hector, sir? You sure? Yes, for God's sake! Get. Me. Desk! Get. Me. Hector! Hector, under the pseudonym of Scopy Gaming, stepping up to the plate. That is actually a video camera from my bedroom. Um, yeah, look at the toilet. Let's look at the toilet. No, let's... Look at mattress. Oh, we could get to look at... There's so much... There's a world to explore here, people. What the hell happened last night? Last I remember was doing a conga with a nun. Or was it a goat? I mean, no fat bird lying next to me this time. Good sign. That's harsh. That's not what I'd say. Breezy in here. Oh, bleed now. Where'd me kicks go? Okay. Well. Apart from the fact that he's got some sort of weird chocolate starfish, and yes, I did just use the word chocolate starfish attached to his forehead, um, put a beard on him, make him lose about 50 to 60 pounds, and it's not too dissimilar from my fair self. Anyway, let's have a look. I feel like he would want me to go for the whiskey bottle first. Angry spouse whiskey, the aperitif of choice for the discerning lash. <laughs> that toilet hasn't worked in years. Doesn't stop me from using it, though. I mean, it's a classy establishment, this. Yeah, go on then. The remains of last night's party for one. Oh, Dame Helen Mirren. <laughs> always be the only one for me. I tell you what, I didn't know Helen Mirren was such an amorphous blob. Has to be said. Has to be said. Did not realise that. This is where I keep my toothbrush. Well, good. good to know. Sometimes reading helps me sleep. Usually alcohol, but sometimes reading. Well, aren't you just the debonair individual? He's one of them cardboard TVs from Curry's. Curry's, I don't think, is actually a store anymore. Oh, if they are, they're very much going out of business over here in the UK. It's a great... It's a, it's a great day to be alive is what it is. And his ass is out. His ass is out. This mattress has left countless women filled with regret. <laughs> Superb. Classy. 
Class A. That leads to the rest of the station. Well, good. That's what we're looking for, isn't it? That's Ratty's area of the room. Ratty's my flatmate. Well, oh, that's just unpleasant, really, isn't it? Brushing with beer gives my teeth that special sparkle. <laughs> it's a great. It's great. I clicked on it again. That's that is my fault. My favourite articles from the Daily Depress. Which covers pretty much all newspapers from my experience of reading them. Hector saves orphanage. Orphans not so lucky. <laughs> Hector solves murder of the day. Brilliant. Murder of the day. Right. Okay. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this puppy motoring, shall we? I mean, I've pretty much clicked on everything already. If truth be told. I often bring a bit of skirt back here after a night out. It's cheaper than a B and B. This is true. Prices, you know, prices are going up all the time. That leads to the rest of the station. Yeah, should we get a, a, a wiggle on, son? Oh, let's have a quick look at this. Okay. We can combine items. We can examine items by double clicking them. Okay, double clicks are used to pick up. Okay, well that makes more sense then. Okay, I'm happy with that. Brilliant. Thank you. Let's clean the teeth. This is where I'll keep my toothbrush. Oh no, you don't want to do it then, do you? Oh, there you go. Sue bleeding perb. Some half week comedians locked me in. Well, oh, I wish someone had shut that phone up. Right. There's something in there. Something in the grate. I knew the grate was there for a reason. Hats I be. need something to pry it off with. Almost busted a nail. Right. I'm thinking. Would a toothbrush be too reckless to try and pry it open with? Brushing with beer gives my teeth that special spark. We've been over this old ground, my friend. Not much left. I suppose I could carry it around and inhale the fumes all day. Useful. It's a great. No. Now you're just being stupid. All right. Didn't see you coming up with any bright ideas, mate. Well, this is just too much. This is children. Don't look at this, please. I mean, that's an Im he's going like a racehorse. There's a paperclip down there. Could do as a makeshift lockpick if it wasn't covered in human waste. Oh, that's just. Reddy doesn't like it when I touch his stuff. Oh, the paperclip's in the toilet, for fuck's sake. I ain't sticking any part of my body down that turd catcher. I need something to scoop it out with. Damn phone doing my head in. Okay, well, can I suggest... Brushing with beer gives my yeah, teeth okay, that right. I feel like we're going over the same ground on this one, son. Why would I want to carry around a bottle of piss? <laughs> Well, it was, I'm thinking, I'm, mate, I'm, you're not helping yourself here. Well, mainly you're not helping me. I'm trying to work out exactly how to get something out of the toilet here using either a broken beer bottle, a stack of shit, a book, or I'm trying to MacGyver this, is what I'm essentially trying to do here. So I feel like you're not giving me much to work with. If this is going to work as a team, you have to give me a little bit of assistance. And I don't think you're going to. This, is, this isn't a promising start. I'm stuck in a room where nothing he's got is able to help me here. Doesn't work. Of course it fucking doesn't. I mean, I mean what are we doing here, boys? Let's see if there's something useful under here. Right, okay. Well, well that condom's huge. Uh, of course it is. It's mine. Oh, Ooh. this is... Right, okay. Hmm, could work as a net, but I'm not sticking me end down there. Okay, right, so we're getting somewhere. <sighs> nah, can't be asked. 
Well, yeah, that would suggest I was going to try and sodomise him with a scotch bottle, to be fair, so probably for the best not to do that. Okay. Can I suggest using the toothbrush and the condom, then? I can't combine those things. Okay. Can I suggest using the toothbrush and the condom, then? Okay. Can I suggest using the toothbrush and the condom, then? Well, yeah, in... It is grim, I'll give you that. It's Reddy's area of the room. Reddy's my flat, mate. Right. Hmm, could work as a net, but I'm not sticking me hand down there. Well, you're limited to your options, fuckwit, aren't you? Really? Okay. Well, maybe... Okay, there's something probably behind a... Oh, hello. So that's where the last guy went. Well, there you go. Let's see what we've got no in here. No way I can fit through there, but I do see something shiny. A spoon. Now all I need is some cake. Oh, that phone guaranteed some idiots on the other end. Usually the way. Right, let's see. Nah, can't be asked. Okay, right, now we're gonna do that. And then do this. Worth a try. Spoon's too short to reach, and now my spoon's covered in crap. Okay, fine. That's done it. Uh, evil is afoot. Uh, 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 what? Well, those things together? Not bloody likely. Yeah, it didn't seem likely when I clicked on it, I'll be honest with you, Hector. I can't combine those things. There's got to be something I can do with this. Examine the shoe. Ah, well, there you go. I could use this lace to hang myself. Well, the people watching this probably wish they could do the same. Uh, let's... Combine that and make a... This I is... I think this net will catch his gonorrhea. I mean, this is this is a grim, grim time for everyone involved here. Let's go fishing. Right, we're going we're going fishing for a paperclip. For the used fella Let's with the dead man's shoelace. Okay, so we got it. Now to open the bloody door. Even the dumbest lockpicker knows to straighten the paperclip first. All right, son. I thought you'd do that of your own volition. Making me look like a mug. Is that straight, if is it? If you squint, it looks a little like a key. Straight. Can't anyone that? use a phone in this ruddy station? That did it. We've made it out of the room, people. Oh. Happy days are here. Well, walk your fat ass out there. leads to reception. Well, walk your fat ass out there. Uh, maybe happy hour's been brought forward. Speak. Oh, oh, thank goodness, boss. I've been trying to reach you for ages. We've got a situation down at Nun's Itch. Some psycho's gone hostile on us. He's already topped 11 of our best negotiators. Oh. Christ, another bleeding nut job. It's not that Judith Fisher again, is it? I already told her domestic disputes do not always need to be settled with a sniper rifle. <laughs> no, no, it's not her. I'll just get the car and get over here now before this gets out of hand. Oh my God, we've just lost another one. Oh, I guess my mid-morning nap will have to wait. Okie dokie. Right, step one, car. No, wait. Stick one. Trousers. Help! Someone! Ha! Pedo's escaped from the cells! Yeah! Pedo! Pedo! That's... Shut it, runt! I'm a bleeding detective inspector. I hate pigs. I liked you better when you was a pedo. Ah, F the policeman. I don't have time for this. You do if I tell you you do. Right, sorry, somebody just banged in the room there, I was confused. Okay. Not sure the word pedo is socially acceptable anymore. Well, it's a big topic anyway. Right, let's... Is this what passes for a criminal these days? 
Yeesh. I knew what passes for a cop these days. Yeesh! Is there a punch button? Police, I'll need to commandeer your trousers. <laughs> are you are you a pedo or something, mate? We're going over the same ground here. Perhaps I'll need to work on my own now. I have a question about your cheap discount bling. Yeah? Can your face hold an electrical charge? Uh, I don't know, but I occasionally pick up Clap FM. <laughs> hey, run! What are you doing here? I stole something. You got me, bruv. Charge me so I can clear off. No, I mean, what are you doing here when everyone else is pissed off? Look, if I go home without getting charged, I'll be dissed off by my crew, yeah? We give our asbos like complimentary mints round here, mate. You want real respect? Oh yeah, bruv? You got something better? How about indecent exposure? Oh yeah, indecent exposure, right? In the X, they call me. Nice tag. What do I have to do? Nothing. I just need some evidence from you to stick in any old unsolved case file. What kind of evidence? Here we go. This is what happens. I'm going to charm a ruffian out of his trousers. Never thought I'd be saying that. Your trousers. Yeah, that makes sense. But conviction should be airtight. My mum's sewed my name into them. Brilliant. I remember those good old school days, having your name sewed into everything. Oi! You're disrespecting my friends! Not a bad fit, ignoring the smell of urine. Get back here with my trousers, them's mine! Let that be a life lesson to you, you little crud. You want a free ride? Join the police. <laughs> Excellent. I'm not gonna dump it in my pocket. Well, that's, that's your choice really, isn't it? It's a key locker, and the keys are inside. What a paradox. They're mostly here to keep an eye on the employees. It looks like Wadsworth's aim is improving. Using a loaded firearm inside, I like that. Oh, the smell of clappers reek. Oh wait, there's a dead cat in the gutter. Classy. Very Aye, classy. Sugar. What Got the up? time. Sorry, darling. There's hostage crisis underway. No time for a quickie. A quickie? I was actually asking about the time. Oh, uh, it's uh, ten thirty, I think. Thanks, fat boy. Now, how about a quickie? Oh. Calling the kettle black there, surely. Can I charge her with something? Fatima. Great name. Slobjev. I mean, these names. What the f... I need to work on my pronunciation. Fair enough. I thought I told you not to hang around in front of the station. Oh, I'm so sorry, Inspector. Like I said before, the underground car park's much more discreet. It won't happen again. I mean, I hope she's taking cash up front because the state of that, boys. The state of that. Could you leave a little more to the imagination? Yeah. Most of the men I come across have a tough time getting blood up to their brains. Hmm. I'm not going to say who's your daddy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, smell you later. 
Right. Well, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you, sugar. Just anything at all. Just go away. I mean, it's grim. It's locked. They keep the keys in the lockbox in reception. Oh, here we go. I mean, right. Now I need to probably speak to them to find out something else. How's tricks? There's tricks, ladies. Slow today. I can't imagine why. Oh, cripes, I can. That breath could knock a pigeon off a wheelie bin at 200 yards. Listen if you're not buying. Piss off. Uh, What's the going rate for an officer of the law these days? Standard rate supply. Throw in an extra five when we won't tell the wife. Oh, it's a classy. What's classy. dead, you trollop? Wow. Oh, look here. All right. No, okay, we're done with this. Ah, smell you later. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you, sugar. Anything at all. All right, we've had enough of that car crash. Take you this way. See what's around the corner. Assuming you can go around. Oh, you can go around the corner. That's nice. Oh, it's Trampy Tim. How's life on the street, you smelly deadbeat loafer? Hey, well, I wouldn't have been so bad if fuck cop of that you get a drink or something, you know? Sorry, mate. I drank all my reserves at last night's party for one. Drink! I want a drink! Get a drink! That guy sounds Your remarkably, remarkably like my former tech, IT tech teacher at school. Remarkable. Interesting. Right next to the station, some bottle. Ooh, hello. Ain't nothing that can't be fixed with a crowbar. Or a cherry paper. I agree with the latter. The candelabra just like that in the station canteen. Nah, there's better stuff to think in the evidence room. Used to work in animation. Look where it got him. Uh, <coughs> hey, Trappy Tim. What's the word on the street? Uh, what's the word on the street? <laughs> Drink! <laughs> Drink, sir! <laughs> That's the word on the street! <laughs> You're looking a tad less green today. You've been sleeping behind the tanning salon. I will fish in the pot, okay? <laughs> you know, it's I understand what he's saying. That's the worst part. I understand what he's saying. Hey, I think I saw an empty curry carton in that wheelie bin over there. You what? You could sniff it and imagine you're having a nice hot meal. No, no, I want a drink. It's a drink I'm after. <laughs> What's on the wine list today? Oh, there's all this broad stuff that I can find that's no good. Yeah, thanks for the invite, but that mouthwash isn't a good vintage. <sighs> Suit yourself. Your liver may look like a quarry, but your breath is fresh as mountain air. What? Have you got anything stronger? And in the rest of you, it smells like an ape ass. <laughs> ape? <laughs> if I come across anything drinkable, you can have whatever I can't finish. All the things bottled and lost. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Want some spare change? Ugh, no, only fratter it away on booze, you see. <laughs> that reminds me, sir. Is it drink on you at all? Are we drink, eh? What happened to the dog? 
No, I didn't give up on me. No, oh, he died, did he? No, no, I got a job, you know. Oh. When your homeless pet's more employable than you, you know you've got some issues. Gotta run. Don't leave town. Tally ho! There you go, pal. Yeah, you did piss you off, that's empty. Worth a try, wasn't it? I don't do burglaries, that's Russell's department. I'll pass it on. Nothing back there, but actually, I don't know what's back there. Hmm. Well, those things together, not bloody likely. Just having a think. I'm gonna hit him with this. Get down, you peasant! Brilliant. Used the word peasant. Now I feel cold with shame. I just like the fact that he hit him and called him a peasant. That's always a winner in my book, that. Who throw away a perfectly good shopping trolley? Oh, the gutter. I know her like an old lover. Mm, do we want to use this on this? What are you, an idiot? Well, to be fair, you can use that on there, so, you know. Water station. Let's see if we can go around the other yeah, side. Drink. Give me a drink, yeah. yeah. Give me a drink, you bastard. I think you're doing there. <laughs> Healthy man. Okay, right, let's see if we can go this way. We can. Oh, hello. That sounded a bit creepier than I intended. Probably on her way to the craft market, or to visit a dying friend. <laughs> Back off, sex pest! I mean it! Brilliant. Crazy old bat. Ah, that's a shame. There's a smart light. I throw this at her? She'd probably smash it over me head and still taser me for good measure. That just goes to the corner. The hostage situation's the other way. Well... I guess we better be going there then. Let's go back, I think. Nothing to see around here that I can't... Nothing that I can see at the moment, anyway. Okay, we'll head back the to the station. station. That way. Well, let's go that Psycho. way. Psycho! What the? Sicko! Okay, good. I thought the game was freaking out on me there. Uh, I've had an idea. Well, I don't know if it's going to work, but I've got an empty bottle. That looks like piss. So maybe I can combine the two. I can. It's strangely oxymoronic. Okay, well then maybe Mr. Smelly Tramp. I'm not talking about those two creatures there. I don't know. Well, let's just try and progress the story by giving him this. Here you go, pal. Just what you need. <coughs> what was that liquid? What a strange sensation. I've always wondered what it would feel like to be sober. I was sober once, for about three hours. Never again. I'll turn my life around. Why? I might even get a job. One step at a time, mate. A thousand thank yous, Hector. You're a true saint. Brilliant. So long, old friend. We cured the trap. Oh, piss off. I locked him better before. All I'm saying is, I made a joke about Scottish people being drunk earlier. What accent did he have? Coincidence. Maybe. I don't know why they call this stuff mouthwash. I use it everywhere. Brilliant. Must have saw me coming and done a runner. 
Well, I just picked up mouthwash, so... Okay. That way goes back to, right. that way goes yep. back to the well, station. Move your lardy ass there. There we go. Pretty sure the hose had stanky breath. So maybe a mouthwash jobby will help him. A mouthwash jobby, that's not what I meant. Not what I meant. I think you know what I meant. Give it to uh, the Michelin woman. You're still short on customers. Maybe this will help. You're gonna spit or swallow that. That girl. Brilliant. Wanna tag along? No. I'm sure I can find something better to do. Or someone, for that matter. Well, guess it's just you and me now, slob Jeff. Yes, Tim, should she sleep on Matsatka? Not after what happened last time, love. <clears throat> oh, he's gonna try again. That's why I got slapped for last time. Oh, which still happens. I need to work on my pronunciation. I can't combine those that, things. That was me thinking whilst clicking. Try and use this to open this, I think. Who needs keys when you've got a crowbar? Exactly, my mentality. And probably that little young man's there no, as well. Keys! Exactly what I need. Superb. Let's take them. Thank you very much, sir. Why did you that... drop the crowbar, though? The crowbar probably can come in quite handy a bit later on. Right, anyway. It's locked. They keep the keys in the lockbox in reception. <sighs> Think about it, son. Well, let's shoot the crow. We've got it in the other door, it looks like it's half open anyway. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, well. You would not believe how many bulbs we go through in a day. Thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. I'm not gonna enjoy going around here, but I think that that's what needs to be done. Oh well. That is something. That is what is that? Look at Garter. Holy mother of God. That's the second biggest garter I've ever seen. Oh, that's just I'll take that though. I'm surprised this didn't snap under the strain of her thighs. I would have. Uh, look at coupled couple. Christ! How do I unsee something? I don't know, mate. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. That way goes. It will go back that way then. Okay, can I use this? Nah, can't be asked. Okay, what can I use this on? I don't know why I'm about to try and do what I'm about to do, but... Gilfs ain't really my thing. Gilfs, oh that's not a pleasant word. She's taking the bus for a reason. Probably donkey kicked the instructor on her 75 year retest. <sighs> Brilliant. Right, now I've got to get the taser off her, I'm thinking. But how? How indeed? How indeed, what have I missed? Pension grabbing loon. Lady Lirin Jerryfile! Never heard of that word. I pride myself on knowing quite a few words, but Jerryfile isn't a word I've ever come across, if I'm being honest with you. Maybe I should take a gander under the bonnet, see what the damage is. Now that would make sense. Let's see what sort of half assed repair job it will take to get this rust box mobile. Huh, I think the battery's dead. And it needs a fan belt. Okay, well I can use the fat whores. Um, I d Spanx, Garter, we're gonna... We're gonna use that, hopefully. This might work. Worked. Now all I need to do is charge the battery. How? I'm not sure exactly what country Slob Jeff is from, but does it really matter in her line of work? No, it does not. 
Right, pensioner, what would a pensioner like so I could take the taser? That goes back to the station. Maybe I'll go back in the station, have a look around there. We keep getting geriatrics in here, asking for a brisket a shank. Okay. I always like to take a few of these. Keeps the stats up and the criminal morale down. Right. I think you boys can see where I'm planning on going with this now. Take this to... That leads to... Old, um... Gerophile fingers over here. That's... Oh, this. She doesn't need that. Nor do I, for that matter. Uh, well. Well, 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 well. Hmm. Okay. Next plan, next plan, next plan. Can I not even talk to her? Ding, ding. All aboard the number 31 to Crazy Town. Ding, ding. All aboard. Okay. Calm down, lady. I'm a detective inspector. Oh, sure you are, Perv. Show me some ID then. Come on. Oh, crap. It's in me other trousers. I was glad you didn't say he's a federal oh, booby inspector. Look, I swear to you, I'm an officer of the law. It's the old bill I'm worried about. Nothing but a bunch of lady botherers. I can cool. assure you that we do not engage in that kind of activity regularly. Don't come any closer, you pervy punts! I'm not gonna hurt you. I don't even really like looking at you. Back off, six best! You ain't got closer curtains in this town without being stalked by dirty Larry's and Peaky Pete's like you! Do you know anything about fixing cars? Oh, I'll fix you, you grubby sex maniac! That sounds... that's a bit much. Could I see that taser again? The only bit of this taser you'll ever see is the dangerous end, sex pest! You don't happen to have a set of jump cables, Andy, do ya? You? You're not jumping me, twitchy pretty! I'm simply trying to fix my vehicle. You molesters always say that. These you... parts aren't safe for an attractive lady like me. Maybe in the 1920s, love. Ah, oh, forget it. You probably can't even work your TV remote. Would you like me to carry your shopping? No, bugger off! Uh, Would you like me to rub your feet? No, on your bike! <laughs> Would you like me to help spread your husband's ashes? No, beat it! Oh, this is... Would you like me to make you feel like a woman one last time? Yes, I mean, no, no, no! Shove off your nanny fiddler! <laughs> nanny fiddler. Brilliant. Okay, well, that's that's not working, I don't think. Thanks for nothing. There's a good lad. What is keeping that bus? Well, there's more than... There's more than one set of keys. That key ring. Good job. You wish. Brilliant. Brilliant. I wonder if I can unhack off that kid. Well, something to do, even if it doesn't progress the story. I fear I may have lost his trust. Ooh, buddy, move, thank you.
What now, yeah? Hey, what are you doing? Piss off, crud. Go home. I told you, man. I want my Asbo. Sorry, punk. Loophole in the justice system. I have no option. What loophole? The loophole where all our staff are pulsed off and I'm not a babysitter. Now beat it. I ain't going nowhere till I get charged with something. Out. No way, mate. I'm staying until you implicate me in a crime. Oh. Listen, I've got nothing for you at the minute, but if I can use you, I'll let you know. Well, I can live with that. You're in my infantry now. If I call you, you'd better come running. Yeah, whatever. I have thoughts and ideas. Well, let's go back to uh, old Gilf. I shouldn't have used that term. Not true. Hey, McBling. How'd you like to upgrade your indecent exposure charge to a sexual misconduct? Yeah, bruv. Anything with SEX in it has got to be good for my rep. What do I have to do? See that lady behind you? Sex pest! Sex pest! Ryan the Nads made him hover. Well, well, well. It looks like this criminal. Finally got shot. Sorry, oh, I don't know what come over me. Horatio apparently just came over you. Right, okay. Hmm. Still holding a charge. Zip it. Hmm. Still holding a charge. <coughs> Zip it. Okay. The station is that. That job. You wish. Let's see if I can use this electro freak to jump the car. Hey, Twitchy! Right name. Look blink. Wanna twitchy. learn how to boost a car? <laughs> <laughs> that should have her running. Definitely a her. Only a female could make my life this miserable. Ah, uh, sounds about right. Soldier crime doesn't pay, kid. Except maybe armed robbery, if you're quick. Is this how we're leaving now? Brilliant. Purring like an asthmatic donkey. See ya, tossers. Ah, oh, fantastic. I mean, if that's the top speed it's going, you should have bloody walked. I literally could have walked there quicker. Uh, about half seven. Ooh. I'm thinking that's a good place to stop this. What's keeping Hector? That terrorist fellow is growing exceedingly restless. I've never met a chap so hell-bent on causing such a fracker. A cracking shot, though. But we really could use someone like him on the force. Be a hell of a job interview, I'll give you that. Oh, thank goodness you're here, boss. Let me bring you up to speed. That's how I think we should always order tea at the workplace. Megaphone. I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger view here. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below. And what I'll do is I'll make sure I'll get the next episode out of this relatively soon. And hopefully we just spread into other games as we go along. I'm enjoying Hector, hopefully you are as well. Until next time guys, I'll see you around.